what's going on YouTube, modeling not back at you. So after looking through my stash, I think this is going to be the next kit that I'm adding from my bench, or putting on my bench. So this one I actually technically started years ago, uh, pulled it out, did a little bit of painting with, uh, primarily with the metal grills here on the front. Um, however, that being said, it's really completely unstarted, uh, but I wanted to kind of go through, show you guys the kit. Uh, if you haven't seen any of these Dragon Half Tracks, as well as I do have um, some extras that'll be coming in uh, with this one. So let's just pop this open. So I went ahead, I have a base uh, that I'm going to be using. I'm not going to touch it because it's uh, still wet with the uh, wood stain. But I'm going to probably take a selection or a section of this and kind of grass turf it uh, just to kind of give or possibly rock kind of dirt road kind of a thing. I'm not 100% sure yet, but um, yeah, so looking through um, as with most dragon kits, these are extremely detailed. Again, does come with a little bit of photo etch for the grills, mud guards, uh, windshield wipers, etc. A couple of resin parts here for the gearing, uh, decals, and things like that. So, just kind of go through the actual build layout. So, again, building all of the suspension, the engine, going through getting the chassis all assembled with all of uh, the various parts for the suspension, getting the tracks on. Now, originally when I got this kit and looked at it, I was not a fan of the fact that the tracks were very, uh, well, they were plastic. So it kind of turned me off to the kit for a while. However, after doing a little bit more research and the more that I've learned um, as time's gone in, on, um, these things were really super taut um, to the point of being like rubber bands. Like they really work tight treads around uh, the gearing. So that is actually something that, you know, again, molding it in plastic totally makes sense. So uh, again, the more you learn as you go, the more it makes sense. So uh, not too bad on that. The one thing I also like about this is you can actually build this as you know, a chassis part, add the actual uh, treads on later and not have to worry about it. So kind of a nice thing with the dragon kit then get in obviously into the interiors whether you're going to have uh, the front grills open or closed more stowage and everything like that and then marking options i'm going to go ahead and do the first armor division from tunisia down here love the fact that it had the star on the side i'm sorry not the star but the actual flag on the side uh, so that is going to be the marking options that i'm going with on this and then this is the other big part that's adding to the kit. I'm not going to go through the whole kit, but did want to go ahead and show this. Stowage set for the whole thing. Um, obviously, it kind of stinks because it'll kind of, it'll have the options, obviously, where I could be covering up a lot of the markings. Um, however, I just like I pick this up for very cheap. So I'll add what I want and omit what I want and stuff like that. So got a whole bunch of resin cast parts. The plastic parts are not part of the resin set. These were just the grills. I just went ahead and put them in the bag so they didn't get lost. But as you can see, buckets and literally a whole lot of stuff. So, so yeah, this ought to be a uh, pretty fun build. Um, again, dragon kits, they're extremely detailed, so I do expect it to probably take a little while to kind of get through all of the build and stuff like that. However, with my favorite glue, plastic bonding, um, should go fairly quickly, um, to really kind of get, yeah, get moving on this. So, yeah, this will be the next project that is on the bench, so... If you have any questions or comments on uh, this build or any of my previous ones, definitely feel free to post a comment in, down below and I'll be happy to reply. So, cool. I'll see you in the first part.